Monsieur le... Mr. President, heads of states and governments, heads of delegations, distinguished delegates, your excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of Cameroon, His Excellency, Mr. Paul Bia, gave me the honor of representing him during the deliberations of the 78th session of the United Nations General Assembly and asked me to deliver on his behalf the following statement. And I quote, please allow me to first of all extend the very warm congratulations on behalf of Cameroon to Mr. Dennis Francis. We congratulate him on being elected to preside over the current General Assembly. His wide experience in multilateral diplomacy and his uh, wonderful human qualities allow us to think that he will be able to steer our deliberations with effectiveness and success. I would like to assure him of the support he will have from my country as he discharges his honorable duty. And I uh, take this opportunity to also congratulate his predecessor Ambassador Shabar Kurashi, who worked hard to prepare the many high-level meetings uh, which prepares our future. We wish him every success and we are grateful to him. Furthermore, it is my pleasure to express towards the Secretary General, Mr. Antonio Guterres, my appreciation of the achievements he has been able to obtain so far in his capacity. He has the full support of Cameroon as he deploys efforts to make sure that our common organization is effective and is tackling the many challenges it is facing. And finally, from this high rostrum, I would like to express the support and solidarity of Cameroon to the government and the peoples of the Kingdom of Morocco and the Republic of Libya in the wake of the natural disasters they have recently experienced. and which brought in their wake the loss of human lives and material damages. Mr. President, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the topic chosen for this current session of the General Assembly, namely rebuilding trust and reigniting global solidarity, accelerating action on the 2030 agenda and its sustainable development goals towards peace, prosperity, progress, and sustainability for all. Now, the relevance of this uh, theme is obvious. Indeed, this 78th session of the General Assembly takes place against uh, the background where the tensions geopolitically is growing and it impacts peace development the social situation in many country countries in particular in Africa in Asia in Latin America and in Europe it is the case in particular in Ukraine in the Sahel region the great uh, uh, lakes region and in the Horn of Africa this uh, situation makes uh, many makes more fragile um, and is compounded by the COVID-19 
pandemic efforts and impacts growth and development and prevents us from effectively fighting climate change. Fortunately, we are happy to see that the international community has mobilized itself to reach a consensus on some of these major challenges. This is a case of the agreement on climate. This is also the uh, case on the Sustainable Development Program that we launched together here in this very hall in 2015, uh, which is accompanied by the um, Addis Ababa Program for Action. More recently, we adopted the Ottawa Framework Convention and uh, the Bi Marine Biodiversity Agreement. It is following this trend that Africa is uh, gradually implementing its own 2063 agenda and uh, the um, um, African-wide agreements so as to have a unified Africa, Africa at peace in security, Africa with good governance, with shared prosperity, Africa, which is called upon to play a major role in international r relations between now and 2063. Now, despite all of these efforts, the expected accomplishments are, are yet to appear. Well, now, why is that? Mr. President, inter alia, we need to recognize here that action, unfortunately, did not always follow um, speech. Let me quote here the insufficient mobilizations of the means for the implementation of the SDGs or the fact that, that um, That 0.5% ODA uh, goal has not been attained. Let me also recall that sometimes immobilized means come late or distributed very sparingly or accompanied with conditions. Sometimes the political will is brought uh, into question when it follows egoistical considerations, which is not in line with general interests and growing solidarity amongst peoples and nations. And lastly, the tools, the mechanisms, the institutions, and the pathways which were put together after the World War II to promote peace, security, economic and social development are no longer quite as relevant and effective because of the growing diversity and complexity of uh, the world today. Mr. President, so what can we undertake now. First of all, we need uh, a new greater political will, new awareness, the kind of awareness that uh, underscores general interest where science is in the service of humanity as a whole so as to ensure the well-being of one and all in such areas as peace, security, health, or economic, social, and cultural development. In this regard, we need to base our work on the charter of our organization and align ourselves to its goals and purposes. We need to resolve conflicts through dialogue. Uh, and need to promote a renewed finan global financial ar 
architecture and work relentlessly to see equitable global development, the kind which will enable all regions of the world to aspire to growth and prosperity. These are, in any event, the goals of Africa in Agenda 2063, establishing continental free trade areas. And we expect the outcomes here in such areas as research, science, technology, energy, infrastructure, communications, telecommunications, agriculture, food industry, debt, climate action, and development in general terms. We need to act together to reform the Security Council so as to give the countries of the South, and in particular African countries, a permanent and equitable representation. Indeed, countries are represented on the Council, but Africa is the only continent that has never had permanent representation within the Council, whereas two-thirds of um, its activities take place on the continent. It is an injustice that needs to be rectified, and that is why we reaffirm our support to the Ezzelwini Consensus and the CERT Declaration. And ask for two permanent posts and three non-permanent ones for Africa on the Security Council. Mr. President, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, Cameroon is committed to the commitments in undertook in terms of uh, solidarity and was the first country to ratify the Paris Climate Agreement and together with other countries in the Congo Basin, we work together to find the solution to climate change. We're also one of the pioneer countries in operationalizing the agreement on the uh, Continental Free Trade Agreement and we proposed a plan for implementing the SDGs and Agenda 2063. We have on this a n national development strategy to make sure that our country becomes an emerging economy. We also passed all of the necessary reforms so for economic and social development and for good governance based on decentralization. This is to help all of our nationals to fully participate in the affairs of the country. In the security area, fighting Boko Haram is something that we continue actively together with member states of the multinational force the uh, and the Lake Chad Basin. The outcome of these efforts can already be seen on the ground, even as we recognize that additional efforts need to be made. In the north and the south of the country, peace and prosperity is gradually returning thanks to the active involvement of the government and in the wake of the recommendations of the wide national dialogue, and this is being done despite the episode, um, occasional outbreaks of violence and uh, hostage-taking. The effective implementation by the government of uh, the presidential guidelines on development, mobilizing and reintegration through SDR, enables us to think that peace and stability will sustainably return and the economic and development activities in the two regions will return. 
certainly uh, these efforts will not be in vain. We take this opportunity to thank once again our bilateral and multilateral partners who continue contributing to improving this situation and helping the various plans put together by the government. Their valuable assistance in stabilizing these two, two regions is very much appreciated by the government, which is extending its hands to those who lay down their weapons. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the world is changing in front of our eyes, and we therefore need to come up with decisions and solutions to make it better for the well-being of our people. And we can do it as long as we strengthen our solidarity and all tackle our challenges, including such as artificial intelligence, but we do have tools for that. If they're well used, we'll be able to attain the hoped for results so as to ensure that humanity survives and that it has a better future. I thank you. End of quote. Afrique Média, le monde, c'est nous.